In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the things to consider when you're picking your game's resolution. I'm going to go over some tips in general about games and also go over some Godot-specific tips towards the end. So in this example, I've got a game, Portalbot, that I worked on that's a pretty small resolution game that's scaled up. So the base resolution is 160 by 90 here. And the reason I picked such a small resolution is because I was doing a game jam and I was doing all the art myself and I wanted something simple because it seemed less daunting. So if you're in that kind of situation, I would advise picking a pretty small resolution. One of the cons is that your art is gonna look a lot simpler. It's gonna to have to be simpler because it's restrained to this small size. And another thing you're gonna run into is picking a font, a, a readable font because so many fonts are like 16 by 16 or 32 by 32 for each character. So finding a font like this that would fit this resolution of the game was pretty challenging. Um, next, I'm going to show you a game that I worked on that has a bit of a bigger resolution to give you a sense of other kinds of games and other resolutions. So this one is this call may be recorded. And you can see here it's a bit more detailed, the font is a bit more readable, um, but it's not, it's not still not crazily large, but you can see that, you know, with a bigger width and height, you have a little bit more room for more detail. This game's resolution was 384 by 216. So next I want to talk about the aspect ratio and dimensions of the game that you make. So why did I go with 384 by 216? This width and height is 16 by nine aspect ratio. 16 by nine aspect ratio fits most devices, most monitors, and it's generally the most common aspect ratio. So I would recommend going with the 16 by nine aspect ratio, unless you have a good reason not to. And I'm gonna show you an example of a case where I chose not to go with the 16 by nine and why. So we'll go back. Look at Cats on Mars. This is a RPG game that I worked on. Go into player room. Okay. And play the scene. So you can see this window is a bit boxier than a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And the reason I did that is because there's a lot of text boxes in this game. And text boxes take up a lot of the screen's space. So in order to have enough of the game viewable with the text box, I decided to make the height a little bit larger and make it a bit more boxy. So I would say if you have a good reason to not go with 16 by 9, then I would do that. And next I'd like to talk about some Godot specific tips when you're going into the settings. So, so we'll go back to project settings, scroll down a bit, go to display, go to window. And here's where you're going to have your game's width and height, at least the base width and height. The test width and height is what you're actually viewing when you play a scene or when you play the game. So if we take this away and we play a scene, what you're going to get is the actual game's width and height, which is not what you want. You want the test width and height, which is basically what it's going to be when you export it and you set it on the game's page or etc. So that's what the test width and height is for. What you don't want to do is set your width and height to be the actual width and height that you want your game to be played in and then scale every sprite and every asset to match that. That You don't want to do that. You just want to set it here and you'll see it every time you hit play. Cool. So now I want to talk about the stretch stretching stuff. So stretching is a pretty important part of, of the game because there's, it's going to be played on different resolutions, and you want it to always be the same resolution as what you intend it to be viewed at. So if we take this away and we hit play, we're going to get the actual width and height, but it's not going to be stretched to whatever window that we're playing it from. So that's the, the purpose of setting the stretch mode to 2D. And I'll go over viewport a little bit later. Um, so now when we view it, we get our actual stretching here. But the problem is when we change this to be a weird resolution, the game is playable in this kind of unintended resolution. So to fix that, you just want to set the aspect to keep. Keep is going to maintain both the width and the height. 
So when we hit play, we can maintain both the width and height. Okay, and lastly, I'd like to go over the difference between 2D and viewport. So the way that I like to think about it is 2D is going to stretch in kind of a nice looking way for kind of, you know, most things, pixel art or not. And viewport is going to stretch it kind of in an exact way, which is going to make it more pixel perfect. So if we hit viewport and we play the game, I like to think of it as it's not as pleasant to look at. This isn't the best example here, but even with this kind of wavy text, you can see that it's kind of, it's it's trying to snap the pixels. And if we have if we have it on 2D, then it's, it's not gonna do that as much. It's going to be a little bit more smooth. And I guess a better example would probably be in Portalbot. So Portalbot is on, at the moment it's on 2D stretch and you can see that it's kind of smoothly rotating the text. And if we change it to viewport, it's going to be more pixel perfect. And here you could see it's kind of snapping as it moves around. 